everyone. Welcome in to Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents. Me, Deborah, with the vloggy thing. That's right, it's the Saturday vloggy video. This one is number 29, and I'm recording this on Saturday, uh, September the 18th. Oh my goodness, we are finally almost into fall. Yes! Uh, we have, of course, life and stuff and crochet to go over today. Life stuff, work, just work. But I have managed to pick up overtime and that is a good thing actually for me because that means a little bit more money coming in. Because as you know, the YouTube ain't paying me diddly, okay? Uh, yeah, I haven't even hit even 500. You have to have a thousand subscribers and a ton of watch hours, which I don't know if I'll ever get. But um, now once I do hit 500 subscribers though, I will be having a big giveaway. Hey, that is something to look forward to. So grab a friend, bring them along, tell them to subscribe and hop in for the ride. Speaking of the ride, let's get into some whips and foes and all of those, okay? Um, sort of a faux thing first. <laughs> Washcloths. All different sizes, all different types, all different stitches. And, um... I think I have enough. This is going to be a heavy package to send to Rose at Rose Likes Crochet for wings for October. Remember, don't send her washcloths until October. But uh, yeah, I counted them this morning. 44. And I actually made more than that, but some of them I kept and gave to friends and stuff too. So I have been a washcloth making machine, y'all. But it has helped me learn a lot in the crochet world. Y'all know I'm new. I just started crocheting this year. So... Things are progressing and I'm learning more and more and it's lots of fun. Now, another whip that I have to bend all the way down there to get to. I told you I would have some progress this week on it. Oh my goodness. And yes, I'm going to have a long bit of string pulling out with me. Ta-da! It is the hubby blanket. It is wide. It is not that tall yet. <laughs> Basically, it'll if I set it on the floor, it comes up to the top of my thighs now, so I'm getting there. But uh, this is the progress. This was my progress marker, and I've made it to here. And um, I'm going to continue working on that. But I've got a couple of blankets that will be going with cows coming up in the next several weeks. So that's why I want to get as much done as I can on this right now, because this will kind of get pushed to the back burner again. Sorry, hubby blanket. Now, I will talk about, pardon me, those cows in a minute. There, there's another whip. Let me see if I can not throw this on the floor. Uh, this. Y'all recognize this? Yep, Butterfly Dreams Crochet with her stitch marker holder that you hang on the wall. Um, this is some yarn that I got in a giveaway that I won from Cindy Moulter. Watch my uh, Happy Mail from this er er earlier this week, past week, whatever. And uh, I decided to try this out. And I see now that <laughs> I was getting really tired last night when I was working on it. And I missed that crossover stitch. I'll have to frog that and fix that. But yeah, and I've also made it too wide for the dowels that I have. So uh, I'll be picking up another dowel at some point to hang this up with. But yeah, this is a sturdy um, acrylic feels like like a super saver or something but one of those sturdy ones so yeah I figured that would be good for hanging stitch markers and stuff it's not going to droop it's not going to stretch it's just going to sit there and be da -da I am strong so that's what you kind of need for that oh yes this little thing that I'm holding in my hands that you can't see yet Neva Manic Bomb Amusings um was talking about doing another crochet along blanket because she's been doing one with Ashley from Stitching Ain't Easy. Hi Ashley. Um and so she decided for October because we are Halloweenies y'all okay love me some Halloween. She loves her some Halloween. She's even got a bunch of cool like skeleton friends around the house. Love it. Yeah I'm kind of jealous that way. The hubby's not into it so I, I mean I put some stuff up here and there but it's just not his thing. But uh Look, I did one. Yes, it's different than the tutorial. I was struggling, okay? And I was trying to watch this tutorial. For, and let me get my little book because 
I forgot who, okay, 365 Days of Granny Squares by Fod Osmot slash Yarn Utopia by Nadia. I will have the link down below. This is from like five years ago, but there was no captions on this particular square in this video. So, and I was trying to do it at night. Well, you know, I kind of watch the captions on my phone and follow along after I've watched it a little. And I was struggling getting it to fit right. I think my base uh, square in the back was kind of wonky, so that didn't help. But we're going to be doing something, and I'm going to attempt it. Vlogtober. Yes, me doing a video every day, okay? But this is going to be the center of a blanket. So apparently we're going to be crocheting around. Neva will have more details later, but I'm kind of excited about this. Basically, you take a different color from all around your stash, and I'm pointing at all the places that have yarn in this room. And uh, every day you're doing a different color. Sounds like fun. It's going to be a nice scrappy blanket with this at the center. And actually, once I got this done, I was kind of happy with it because, yeah, it looks kind of cool. So, you know, it's Halloweenish too. And I kind of like it. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be fun. And also, it's not a washcloth. It's that size, but it's not a washcloth. Uh, okay, I'm going to make sure I don't miss anything here. Oh, there is something super fun coming up but you got to get ready and get into it as soon as you can okay lisa ladybird loves you've heard me talk about her before i love her channel her lives her games and everything she wants to do a secret santa this year why are we talking about it in september because it's international and to post things to international you know things take a while to get places sometimes so we need to sign up now i have signed up so if you sign up, you might get a present from me. It's not going to be an expensive Secret Santa. She has set some limits on it um, as far as prices and, you know, where, what we should do. Link's going to be down below. But please get in on it now before it's too late because I think it's going to be exciting. You might get somebody in your own country. You might get somebody in another country. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So uh, happy really early Christmas. And I even made a little short video about it. Um earlier in the week that is called by the way the spread a smile international secret santa now speaking of international i do have a um series going right now on my tuesday reviews called snacks around the world so yes i i like to eat obviously hello fat chick here but um I've been doing snacks around the world. It's kind of fun to see what you might find and try things that you might not have tried before. Some things I have tried before and I'm like, yes, I'm going to try them again and show y'all because you need to know about this. But I'll have a link to that playlist down below. They're just some fun things that I do on a Tuesday. Um, all of those folks that I talked about crochet wise will be linked below uh, because, hey, share the yarny love. That's what we do around here. This is a fantastic community. Um, Love and hugs to y'all. Now, every week, I do try to put out a non-yarny shout-out. And I have one. This one is fun. Um, it's not even really yarn adjacent, but I know that a lot of us out there enjoy digging and finding old stuff. Antiquing, thrift shopping, garage selling, and that sort of thing. The name of the channel is called Curiosity Incorporated. It's also the name of their store. They're in Canada. I think it'd be fun to visit them. They're a fun family. And um, they sometimes buy out estate sales. They, they go digging and finding really neat curiosities and things. And not just like regular antiques. You know, not just this beautiful armoire from, you know, the French. No. It is all kinds of fun stuff. A great series to watch that I think ended last year that they did. They have playlists of some of the stuff where it, it's multiple episodes. The one is called uh, The Musician's House Series. And I read it to make sure. The Musician's Hoarder Series. Okay, they bought an entire hoarder home. That was a musician, a famous musician in Canada. And they went through everything. It's just amazing and mind-boggling to watch the transformation. Watch the items they find. Whoa. You would not believe. I've watched it. And whoa. And then when you get to the end, it's like, oh. And then they have some really touching moments too. You know, family and stuff like that. So 
Seriously, give them a watch. Curiosity Incorporated. If you've never checked them out, they're a lot of fun and I always enjoy watching them go by. Now coming up, like I said, Vlogtober. Try to hold me to it. I'm going to attempt to have a video every single day in October. Also, I'm going to be working on that blanket with Aniva, Manic Mama Musings, every day in October. And Lisa Ladybird Loves Crochet Along, the Pick and Mix Cal starts in October. Oh, and I have my yarn for that. That is in this big old kitty sack right here. Life is better with cats. It's full, y'all. That's for that blanket. It's probably too much yarn, but that's okay. Anything left will go back in the cubes that are behind me and over there and piles and bags and yeah, there needs to be some more organization in my life. But October is going to be busy. And I'm going to be going to Mad World. I've already got my tickets. If you don't know what Mad World is, oh, check out Mad World Haunted Attraction. It is in South Carolina. It is just up the highway from me. And uh, yes, I love that. But I'm waiting for the weather to cool off a little bit more because I, I'm one of those, I'm always hot. Got to have a fan. So I like to wait until it's in like the 40s at night before I go. And I go when it's dark and it's so much fun. So yeah, I'm excited for October and for fall because I love autumn. Yeah, I'm not a summer girl. I was born in the summer. Biggest mistake I ever made apparently because uh, yeah, uh, my birthday's in June, okay? When it's hot, hot AF. No. Love me some autumn, love me some winter. Of course, I don't live in the northern parts where, you know, the snow's up to here or anything. Winter here is like autumn in some places, but yeah, looking forward to it. What's your favorite season? It doesn't have to be autumn. That's okay. What are you working on right now? Please tell me and, you know, tell me where to go to find the cool, you know, tutorials and stuff that you're finding because I really enjoy that too. And uh, tell me how many washcloths you've done for wings and Rose Likes Crochet. Yeah, that's going to be an expensive box to send. But I don't care. It's worth it. And it's just for a great cause too. Thanks for coming by today. I do appreciate you coming to see me. If you've never been here before, thank you for taking a chance. If you're lasting all the way to the end to deal with this nonsense. And um, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. Bring a friend. Leave a comment. And uh, check out my playlist and stuff. Also, check the description box. You never know what you're going to miss. Really. See y'all soon.